already I'm trying to get a compost pile going and I um, I've added greens, a bunch of uh, grass clippings, leaves, and um, I bought a bag of dog food, 20 pound bag for five dollars. It's pure um, cornmeal and it's all uh, they no longer manufacture dog food that has other animal products in it nowadays. It's all you know uh, grains and whatnot. And it, man, talk about it, it'll boost a uh, compost pile very well. And, uh, but the only thing is, you got to bury the dog food well, or you're going to have critters coming up here. We've seen uh, lately, me and my neighbor have both seen a red fox back here or two, and several other uh, animals, deer, rabbits, and they're going to tear into that pile if they can smell dog food in it. So you got to mix it in there kind of good and deep in the center. And you just keep on doing it and uh, building up in layers mix it in but not too much leave it sort of layered uh, you know don't just keep turning it every day necessarily let it kind of sit for a while and build up and then turn it um, I've got tons of compost going back here I've got several other piles and I'll show that in another video or whatever but anyway I just wanted to show you my main almost this is my kind of what they call a banner pile this is my um, the one that I'm really working on, concentrating, I turn it every other day, you know, the others are just piles of stuff that's just back here, rotten. Um, so I'm fortunate to have all the opportunity to do that back here with all the uh, drop clippings and everything that we bring back here in the Anyway, I just want to give an update. Another thing was on my last video, I showed the compost tea, and I never showed a, a video you know, with the finished tea and all that stuff, and actually I just didn't have time, and, my, and when I did, my battery was dead in the camera, so I went ahead and used it. Good God, there's a, okay, there's a couple squirrels over here fighting each other. Um, what I did was I let the tea brew for uh, about 12 hours, and then I removed the tea bag, and I let it continue to, to aerate and at that time I also added a little bit of um, molasses about maybe a, a tablespoonful and, and a small handful of cornmeal just a small maybe a pinch a big pinch of cornmeal and I let that brew for another 24 hours when it first started brewing real good it smelled real sweet kind of like the, the molasses smell but the following morning when I went out and smelled it, it was like a big, it was all foamy and there was this yeast smell. And I'm like, yeah, there's some, something growing in there for sure. So it, I poured all that out on an air, in a bed that I built that I haven't shown yet. And uh, I had compost mixed in with the soil and I poured out um, probably two gallons of the, the compost tea over that and I've let it set. I haven't planted anything in it, I've just let it kind of set and work. And, and I may turn it a little bit. And I'm planning to put garlic and a bunch of other stuff in that. And um, with the remaining amount, I only had like three gallons, so with the remaining gallon, I, I thinned it down with water, just good clean water, and I used it as a foliar spray. I sprayed it all over my peppers and a bunch of plants and stuff. And I, within three days, I definitely saw a difference. I saw a difference. Um, they were having problems with bugs and whatnot, and I noticed that dropped off, and I also noticed that the plants started perking up. And I haven't seen that happen before, before using this. I've put fertilizer down, and it gradually helped, but not just a burst like within three days of putting that compost tea on there. It really made a difference. But anyway, I'm getting eat up by mosquitoes right now, so um, that's about all I can film. Thanks for watching. I'll post again later. Bye.